Elkin is a trail hub. The Overmountain Victory Trail, Mountains to the Sea Trail, and the 165 mile Yadkin River Trail all connect through Elkin, an area that includes nearby Pilot and Stone Mountain State Parks. And the Elkin Valley Trail Association is actively involved with building and promoting a network of trails and greenways to, among other things, cultivate health, wellness, and a respect for the environment. We decided to build a trail from uh, Elkin to Stone Mountain, which is a 22 mile trail and it's part of the Mountain to Sea Trail. We call that the Stone Mountain Trail. Now, it's part of the state linear park, which is the Mountain to Sea Trail. They completely overlap all through here. They're going together. And right, I, I guess about a mile from here, it overlaps with the Overmount Victory Trail, which was the eastern terminus where uh, Joseph Winston, who's the city of Winston is named after, met with 60 horseback riders here and they rode to the Battle of Kings Mountain. Uh, it's all a, sort of a team effort. All of us are working together. We all agreed we're gonna keep our, all the hands on the same rung of the ladder with the town, with county commissioners. We've been endorsed by about 15 different big agencies. Hundreds of volunteers. This bridge right here and these roads cost us $350,000. We raised every penny of it. All through grants, individual donations, and other fundraisers. We have an insane terrain race we run every year. We also have the Tour de Vino, which is a 25, 50, 71, and 100 mile bike ride we do once a year, all to raise money for all our trails. It's well documented that people who exercise more, of course, have less diabetes, they lose weight, their blood pressure goes down, they're generally much less heart disease, cardiovascular disease, blood vessels, circulation, mental acuity is all better with uh, if your body is fit. And keeping fit in Elkin couldn't be easier. Beginning with the Start With Your Heart walking trail downtown to the nearby Elkin Recreation Center facilities. Within this park we have a one mile walking track. We also have eight lit tennis courts, outdoor playground, a couple of picnic pavilions, a uh, swimming pool. We also have the Elkin Recreation Center. In the center we have cardio fitness rooms, weight rooms, full gymnasium, locker rooms. Downtown Elkin is located less than a quarter of a mile away from our park, so a lot of people do run uh, from the park into the downtown area, have a nice pleasant flat run down there and then enter back in the park and can make a good four to five mile loop with both the trail and the downtown area in mind. In the meanwhile, the Elkin Valley Trail Association continues its steady progress of trail building. We're building the trail in segments and we're tackling the hardest parts of the trail first. So what we're doing is building trail off-roads so you can go from three or four miles on, on, in the woods and then you can walk down the side of an old dirt road and then you can get back in the woods again. And so it's a 10 feet wide trail, it's a, it's a granite dust so it's real easy on your feet. I can come out here and walk four times as far and be less tired because it's so beautiful out here. Our whole trail is handicap accessible. Before we build the bridge, we build the trail on the other side and this side, so when the bridge opens, it's not just a bridge to nowhere, it's a bridge to somewhere. In addition, as they build out their trail, we put a gong at the end of it to give somebody some place to go. There are plenty of trails to tackle in the area now, including portions of the Yadkin River Trail. The town put in a boat landing at Crater Park down by the river. We built the campsite down there, and one of our Eagle projects is the canoe and kayak rack. We've got two great outfitters, Roaring River uh, Outfitters and Yadkin River Adventure Outfitters. We have uh, about 20 miles of trail that we, uh, of river. It's a class one, class two. It's a great family adventure. There are enough rapids and islands and birds to excite any family down there. It's not dangerous. Uh, there are some, there's some places you can turn over, but it's, it's really, really pretty safe uh, for whole families to go. It's a big adventure. We got horse, we got bike, we got paddling, and we got hiking. It's a great hub of outdoor activity that promotes wellness. So we're just extending the trail out, making it easier for people to exercise. And they like it. And so will you. For more information about the trails and ways to get out and explore the area, go to elkinvalleytrails.org.